Cumulative culture in human evolution began 600,000 years ago. Convincing evidence has been found that cumulative culture, a defining element of human evolution, emerged approximately 600,000 years ago. Each of us is the accumulated product of thousands of generations that came before us in an unbroken line. Our current culture and technology are the result of thousands of years of accumulated and remixed cultural knowledge. So when did our earliest ancestors begin to make connections and build on the knowledge of others, distinguishing us from other primates? Cumulative culture, the accumulation of technological changes and improvements over generations, has allowed humans to adapt to diverse environments and challenges. However, it is unclear when during hominin evolution cumulative culture developed. Now, a new study concludes that humans began rapidly accumulating technological knowledge through social learning around 600,000 years ago. Our species, Homo sapiens, has been successful in adapting to ecological conditions, from tropical forests to polar tundra, that require different types of problems to solve, Perro said. Cumulative culture is very important because it allows human populations to build on and recombine the solutions of previous generations and develop new complex solutions to problems very quickly. Says, as a result, our cultures, from technological problems and solutions to how we organize our institutions, are too complex for individuals to invent on their own. To investigate when this technological turn might have begun, Page and Perro analyzed changes in the complexity of stone tool production techniques in the archaeological record over the last 3.3 million years to discover the origins of the cumulative culture. To establish a baseline for the complexity of stone tool technologies achievable without cumulative culture, the researchers examined technologies used by non-human primates such as chimpanzees and stone tool production experiments involving random napping by inexperienced human flint workers. Researchers broke down the complexity of stone tool technologies by the number of steps involved in each toolmaking stage. The results showed that stages of stone tool production from about 3.3 to 1.8 million years ago, when Australopithecus and the earliest Homo species existed, remained within the basic range. From about 1.8 million to 600,000 years ago, production sequences began to overlap and slightly exceed the complexity baseline. However, after about 600,000 years ago, the complexity of the production stages increased rapidly. About 600,000 years ago, hominin populations began to rely on extraordinarily complex technologies, and we saw rapid increases in complexity after that date, postdoctoral researcher Page said. These findings match what we expect to see in hominins based on cumulative culture. Tool-assisted foraging may have been the driving force for the earliest beginnings of the evolution of cumulative culture. Early hominins, about 3.4 to 2 million years ago, likely relied on foraging strategies that required tools, such as accessing meat, marrow, and organs. This led to changes in brain size, lifespan, and biology, setting the stage for cumulative culture. While other forms of social learning may have influenced toolmaking, Evidence for rapid increases in technological complexity and the development of other new technologies only emerged during the Middle Pleistocene. The Middle Pleistocene period shows consistent evidence of the controlled use of fire, hearths, and domestic spaces, which were probably essential components of the development of cumulative culture. Other types of complex technologies also developed in the Middle Pleistocene. These include wooden structures built with logs hewn with stone tools. Together, these findings suggest that cumulative culture emerged early in the Middle Pleistocene and likely predated the divergence between Neanderthals and modern humans.